Well, Alex, let's take a look at the scene right now here at the state capitol. There are still a lot of people here. Well, the governor signed the bill earlier this afternoon. At first, the crowd of several thousand people fell silent. There were murmurs of disapproval. It was a very peaceful scene. But later, for several hundred protesters, simmering resentment boiled over. His T-shirt said, because I can do that. What do you want me to do, guys? I don't know, man. I'm not certain. I know. Actually, he couldn't do that. Hurl insults that could spark a riot. So police were leading him away. Before they could get him off the Capitol grounds, water bottles started flying. After this young man hurled a bottle, an officer rushed up and collared him. The ugly scene turned uglier. This officer hit right in front of our camera. Then we saw another arrest. Officers whipped out cans of pepper spray. Volunteers rushed in to calm the unruly crowd. This man, roughed up, rubbed his face. A student leader did not excuse the bottle throwing, but tried to explain it. Now here comes a man, you know, a white man, minute man, saying, you know, I have the right to go anywhere I want and get out of my way, you know, you bunch of Mexicans. You know, that's going to get people upset. I know there's no justification for what they did. However, you have to think that this is youth. They're really upset. In the end, one man arrested, charged with assaulting a police officer, and a lot of bruised feelings on all sides. We saw a lot of water bottles like this thrown here today, but to keep the incident in perspective, we did not see injuries. Most people here did not participate in this at all. It's clear for them the next step is peaceful protest and legal challenges. Reporting live from the state capitol, Steve Kraft, Fox 10 News. Thanks, Steve. For a second day in a row, students walked out of class to protest this bill. Sky Fox was over a group of students near 55th Avenue in Thomas. There are about 100 of them in this video that we could see marching, carrying signs, urging the governor to veto the bill. Of course, she did not. She signed it. The students were making their way to the state capitol to join thousands of other protesters there.